lot here in the West Chester scene. That's going to be Kevin versus Coffee Bug. Now, for those of you who don't know, uh, Kevin's been around in the scene for quite a while ever since the Smash Four days. Whereas Coffee Bug, a little bit newer. Um, he really sort of showed up after you know Uncle came back from quarantine. Uh, but both of these players have really good results. Their name have top aided multiple times. Uh, so now that we're here at the monthly, I'm really, oh man. Yeah, both of them are in round three, and I'm expecting this to be, I was going to expect this to be like an even match, but look at what just happened right there. And immediately, Kevin just starts opening him up even further. You sh okay, finally, it is Coffee Bug's turn. Let's see if he can do with it. Platform pressure, but no, Kevin ends up getting down. He wasn't able to cover, just drifting towards the corner and getting off the platform. Okay, but I'm liking this. Oh, the DI on that back air was suspect as hell, but he's going to be surviving, and that's all that matters. But surviving for how long? Think about the strong start that Kavin had just a moment ago. The thing is that I feel like we're starting to see sort of the... Uh, I, I love it when you see this sort of nature of two play styles where... Oh, dead? Oh, no, he's fine. Uh, but Kevin, the punish game is so good. I don't know if you missed that first stock. But meanwhile, Coffee Bug has just been playing neutral really well. Despite the fact that he got absolutely slammed during the first minute of this game, he's only taken about, I mean, now it's 80, but this is, oh, well. Yeah, that two frame's going to be good. Oh, the and the flood into the F smash. Let's go. We're in there. Yeah, honestly. Kevin's edge guarding on Fox has been absolutely stellar. Oh, but reading that defensive option and oh, I yeah. Actually, I actually like the up air there because the up air covered both him falling through platform and him landing on the platform. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. I mean, Fox's up airs are such yeah. a good juggling tool. And Coffee Bug absolutely knowing how to use it right here. Okay, opens him up with a down air, but doesn't actually doesn't yeah, kind of extends. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the air dodge buffered. Puts him low, but not dead. I think he still has a jump. Oh, he had no oh, jump. Where did it go? I think he jumped off ledge and got, caught the back air. I thought that was ledge jump, but yeah, I guess he deferred the jump to do that. And what was that hungry F smash? Yeah, now, now they both are on even footing. They want to see who gets the next opening. I, I, the thing is, I think that both of them realized just how devastating the other's punish game is. And I would, if I had to say which one was worse, probably Kevin is a little bit more dangerous once he gets that first hit started. Here it comes again. Will he be able to... The thing is, as a Mario, he's able to just put Fox off stage, and he's so yeah. consistent at killing him. I like the Shine Slaw from uh, Coffee there. Double up airs. Looking for a third, not going to land. Yeah, and only parrying the first hit of that up air into Kevin. Kevin takes a lot of damage. A DBZ moment, but much better for Kevin in that mo in that instance. And that's he caught probably going to do it. Yep. Yeah, he fell off platform. Posture was back air, looked for the rolling, and then F smashed it as he rolled in. Was that rolling? I thought he just ran in. Did he ran in? Run in? I didn't really think it happened so quick. I yeah, think, it was I, thought, I thought that... I. We, when are we gonna steal H O three K? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Soon, 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 yeah. soon. But um, game one goes to Kevin, dude. And I, I think it's really interesting. And when you think back to Kevin and how he took those stocks, stock one, gorgeous edge guard, killing him super early. Stock two, gorgeous edge guard, killing him super early. But then right there, he got this hard read. And the thing is, as we move into game two. If he's not getting those super early edge guards, I think he might have to rely on those hard reads. And if Coffee Bug is understanding of that, he can play around, smash it. You know, Mario smash attacks yeah. are hard to punish. But if you know that that's what he's really looking for, you can still play around it. And as we move into this game too, yeah. at least what adaptations we're going to see from Coffee Bug. Coffee seems to be getting the better of him in neutral. Kevin's just getting a bit more knowledge. Oh, right as you say that, actually punishing the whiff. Yeah. Yeah. That. Oh Yo. That Phantasm was so early punished by the forward air. Man, I, I was that the only option that that forward air actually covered? Yeah, I, I jump. I but he, he jumped he into jumped, Phantasm he, he stalled, yeah. Yeah, no, like that's literally that was the hardest call out. Oh. I think it would have covered jump rising like like rising uh rising fair cuz like a uh, momentum up. Maybe, but that like that's not Yeah. <laughs> if you chose that option, I'm going to sure. But uh, this is, man. Okay, but Kevin, this is the yeah. thing where Coffee Bug, you take this like last yeah. game, we took that super early hit, I, you know, die really quickly. But okay, I'd like to see him turtle up a little bit more, like right around like near up smash, like like in that specific scenario, not given the opening. You know, he's definitely looking for to close out an early stock. Like he needs to close the gap, so you know the early stock takers are coming. Yeah, and 
you know, for the most part, we haven't really seen Kevin shielding that much because yeah. you know that Fox's shield pressure is incredible. Uh, and instead, <laughs> he's owned. He opted to shine there to stop the uh, let let Trump no back air. Yeah, there's so much control that you have once you uh, get trumped in this game, but... That was a down tilt on shield, got up smashed for his troubles. Yeah, I mean, at that range, it's going to get punished. To be honest, I thought he'd be far enough away, but KV knew better than I did. Yeah, no, Mario's up smash, it goes starts behind him, and it goes super far. Good tech chase. Got the regrab. These floods on the on the instant phantasms have actually been, like, wonders for KV. Oh, yeah, and I th oh, he didn't have it charged up right there. Otherwise, I think we might have seen it again. But as it stands, look at this. Kevin, if he dies here, which is he's trapped in the corner, and Coffee Bug's actually keeping him there. With that yeah, beautiful yeah Smash job. gonna take it up. I thought that was gonna be an overextension, yeah. but he went low, but still was able to cover that high recovery. And now things are, you know, this is still dangerous to Coffee Bug, especially when those forward smashes start coming out. Yeah. But. Ooh, okay, but Coffee Bug, if he plays the neutral carefully, if he avoids getting smash attack like he did in that first game, I could see him conceivably surviving for a while, but... <gasps> that dash attack is getting so much mileage on two-framing. So active. Such a good dash attack, and it's going to open him up for huge damage! Yeah, and he's, this is the thing. Yeah. He learned his mistake from game one. He knows that Kevin is looking for a smash attack to actually finish things off. And he's playing a lot more defensive, a lot more carefully. And he's using those these quick hitboxes. <gasps> Not spaced. Uh, but yeah. those quick hitboxes that Fox has. And just shielding whenever he's on the ground. The beer reverse to, to the platform land was a good mix up there. I don't know if this is going to kill. Not yet, but he's not going to take out another grab. Give oh, him a oh you're so done. You're oh not! Oh my god! He, okay. Okay. Oh, he would have been kicking himself if he lost the set off of dropping that. Like, if it yeah. went game three and then he lost. And at that position, like, that was a flood. Back air that would do it. Yeah. Back air would do it. Just walk up to the ledge and hold up smash. Like.